Hello, karibu endelee kujifunza na hapa utajifunza kupitia majibu ya wanafunzi kwa swali lolote walikiuliza kwamba ni upi usababisha matatizo zaidi katika ndoa, je, ni mume au ni mke? Na hii ni sehemu ya kwanza ya majibu hayo kwa sababu majibu katika swali hili yalikuwa marefu. Kwa hiyo nimeona ni vema ni atenge kwa vipengele ili uweze kupata kila kitu vizuri ambacho kilijibiwa kiri kwa hili swali. Kwa hiyo hapa utajifunza baadhi ya maneno mapya na baadhi ya fungu vya maneno vipi ambavyo yumkini uvifahamu ambavyo sasa vitakusaidia na wewe kuvitumia katika maeneo mengine hata kama si kujibu au kuongelea swala linalohusu ndoa yanaweza kusaidia kuyatumia katika maeneo mengine tofauti tofauti tuangalie kwanza swali lilivyo kwa likiuliza kwa Kiingereza katika part 1 sehemu ya kwanza swali lilikuwa likiuliza hivi who causes more problems in marriage is it a husband or a wife who causes more problems in marriage is it a husband or a wife ni nani usababishe matatizo zaidi katika ndoa ni mume ni mume au ni mke jibu la kwanza ni hili hapa kwa mchango wa kwanza wa mwanafunzi ulikuwa ni huu hapa a father is the problem ambaye inamaanisha baba ndiye tatizo a father is the problem because kwa sababu a father is everything in the family. A father is everything in the family. Baba ni kila kitu katika familia. Kwa hiyo, hiki pengere kwa pamoja kinakuwa a father is the problem because a father is everything in the family. Baba ndiye tatizo kwa sababu baba ni kila kitu katika familia. Au ni kila kitu kwenye familia. But na maanisha lakini au ila. It depends. It depends inamaanisha inategemea. Wengine wanasema inategemeana. It depends inategemea. Sometimes a mother is the problem. Sometimes inamaanisha wakati mwingine. Kwa hiyo sometimes a mother is the problem inamaanisha wakati mwingine mama ni tatizo au mama ndiye tatizo. Sometimes a mother is the problem because kwa sababu she doesn't care for the family. She doesn't care for the family inamaanisha hajali familia au huwa hajali familia she doesn't care for the family kwa tukianzia hapa kwenye but mpaka hapa tunapata but it depends sometimes a mother is the problem because she doesn't care for the family lakini inategemea wakati mwingine mama ndiye tatizo kwa sababu hajali familia kwa kumalizia tunapata so ambayo inamaanisha hivyo kwa hiyo sometimes a father is good So sometimes a father is good. Hivyo wakati mwingine baba ni mzuri au wakati mwingine baba ni mwema. But a mother is not good. Lakini mama si mzuri au mama si mwema. So sometimes a father is good but a mother is not good. Hivyo au kwa hiyo wakati mwingine baba ni mzuri lakini mama si mzuri. Kwa nita, nitasoma hiki kipengele chote mwanzo mpaka mwisho afu nitakitafsiri kwa pamoja ili uone kama unaweza kukumbuka sasa vyote kwa pamoja vikiwa kwa Kiingereza na vyote kwa pamoja vikiwa kwa Kiswahili A father is the problem because a father is everything in the family but it depends sometimes a mother is the problem because she doesn't care for the family so sometimes a father is good but a mother is not good Baba ndiye tatizo kwa sababu baba ni kila kitu katika familia lakini inategemea wakati mwingine mama ndiye tatizo kwa sababu hajali familia. Hivyo wakati mwingine baba ni mzuri lakini mama si mzuri. Twende katika mfano wa pili au mchango wa pili kuhusiana na swali hili. Mchangiaji mwingine alisema yafuatayo. Number two. A husband is the problem. Mume ndiye tatizo. Because tayari unajua na maisha kwa sababu A husband is everything in life. A husband is everything in life na maanisha mume ni kila kitu katika maisha. So, hivyo, other people watu wengine know that tukianzia hapa kwenye so mpaka kwenye know that tunapata so other people know that. Hivyo, watu wengine hujua kuwa au watu wengine wanajua kuwa a husband is the problem. Mume ndiye tatizo. So, kianzia hapa mpaka ha, mpaka mpaka hapa tunapata yafuatayo so other people know that a husband is the problem hivyo watu wengine hujua kuwa au watu wengine wanajua kuwa mume ndiye tatizo 
akamalizia kwa kusema that's why ambayo inamaanisha ndio maana au ndio sababu kwa hiyo mchango mzima aliyotoa huyu mchangiaji uko hivi a husband is the problem because a husband is everything in life so other people know that a husband is the problem that's why ambayo inamaanisha mume ndiye tatizo kwa sababu mume ni kila kitu katika maisha hivyo watu wengine hujua kuwa mume ndiye tatizo ndio maana mchangiaji wa tatu alisema yafuatayo haya sasa yataganywa kwa vipande kwa sababu ni, ma, ni marefu zaidi haiwezi katosha katika ukurasa mmoja au katika muonekano wa pamoja kwenye kwenye screen yako tuanze na iki pengele cha kwanza number three. a wife is the one who often causes problems a wife is the one who often causes problems ambayo inamaanisha mwanamke ndiye au wengine nasema ndiye ambaye mara kwa mara husababisha matatizo a wife is the one who often causes problems mwanamke ndiye ambaye mara kwa mara husababisha matatizo because she can betray her husband because she can betray her husband inamaanisha kwa sababu anaweza kumsaliti mumewe because she can betray her husband anaweza kumsaliti mumewe and have an affair and have an affair inamaanisha na kuwa na mahusiano au na kuwa na uhusiano with another husband inamaanisha na mume mwingine au pamoja na mume mwingine kwa hiyo tukianzia hapa tukianzia hapa mpaka hapa tunapata tunapata yafuatayo she can betray her husband and have an affair with another husband anaweza au huweza kumsaliti mumewe na kuwa na mahusiano au na kuwa na uhusiano na mume mwingine since we see in our families kwa kuwa tunaona katika familia zetu since we see in our families inamaanisha kwa kuwa tunaona katika familia zetu a wife is a common source a wife is a common source manake mwanamke ni chanzo cha kawaida of more problems a wife is a common source of more problems inamaanisha mwanamke ni chanzo cha kawaida cha matatizo zaidi au mwanamke ni chanzo cha kawaida cha matatizo zaidi kwa tukianzia hapa mpaka hapa tunapata yafuatayo since we see in our families a wife is a common source of more problems kwa kuwa tunaona katika familia zetu mwanamke ni chanzo cha kawaida cha matatizo zaidi in marriage katika ndoa mwanamke ni chanzo cha kawaida cha matatizo zaidi katika ndoa tuendelee mbele na hiki kifuatacho For example inamaanisha kwa mfano for example a wife can usually make her husband a, a wife can usually make her husband inamaanisha mwanamke kwa kawaida anaweza kumfanya mumewe never listen to his relatives never listen to his relatives inamaanisha kamwe kutosikiliza ndugu zake yani his ni wa kiume kwa hiyo mwanamke anaweza kumfanya mwanaume kutosikiliza ndugu zake yani mwanaume kutosikiliza ndugu zake never listen to his relatives and whenever she sees his relatives ambaye inamaanisha na wakati wowote anapowaona ndugu zake sasa mwanamke anapoona ndugu wa kiume kwa sababu his ni wa kiume kwa hiyo whenever she wa kike ambaye sasa kwa hapa ni mwanamke au mke his yake au wake lakini kwa sababu ni ndugu tunasema ndugu zake kwa hiyo his wa kiume ambaye sasa ni mume kwa tukianzia hapa mpaka hapa tutapata yafuatayo for example a wife can usually make her husband never listen to his relatives and whenever she sees his relatives ambaye inamaanisha kwa mfano mwanamke anaweza kwa kawaida kumfanya mumewe kamwe asisikilize ndugu zake na wakati wowote anapowaona ndugu zake anapowaona mwanamke anapowaona ndugu wa kiume kwa sababu she sees his relatives have come to see him wamekuja kumuona have come huyu him tunaye anayezungumziwa hapa ni wa kiume kwa hiyo him ambaye tunamzungumzia sasa katika mada yetu hapa ni mwanaume kwa hiyo have come to see him wamekuja kumuona kwa sababu tunatokea kwa kwenye ndugu zake wamekuja kumuona have come to see him she regards them she regards them anawachukulia au huwachukulia manake mwanamke huwachukulia wao 
hawa wao tunawazungumzia hapa ni his relatives ndugu zake na mume as her first enemy as her first enemy inamaanisha kama adui zake wa kwanza maanake huyu mwanamke anawachukulia them ambao ni ndugu wa mume kama adui zake wa kwanza as her first enemy in this world inamaanisha katika dunia hii au katika ulimwengu huu au hapa duniani au hapa ulimwenguni kwa sasa tukianza na na kipande hiki hapa ambacho kitatusaidia angalau ku, kupata kitu kinachoweza kueleweka vizuri zaidi tukianzia hapa kwenye whenever mpaka um, hapa this world tutapata kifuatacho whenever she sees his relatives have come to see him she regards them as her first enemy in this world wakati wote au nasema mara au unapo ndugu zake wamekuja kumuona huwachukulia kama adui zake wa kwanza katika ulimwengu huu au katika dunia hii tuendelee na kinachofuata hapa generally ambayo inamaanisha kwa ujumla wengine wanasema kiujumla i can actually say i can actually say inamaanisha kiukweli naweza kusema au kiwalisia naweza kusema that inamaanisha kwa i can say that na naweza kusema kuwa all women their father is one all women their father is one inamaanisha wanawake wote baba yao ni mmoja kwa hiyo tukianzia hapa mpaka hapa tutapata kifuatacho generally i can actually say that all women their father is one kiujumla au kwa jumla naweza kusema kiukweli kuwa wanawake wote baba yao ni mmoja that is why in most families ambayo inamaanisha ndio maana katika familia nyingi that's why in most families a husband gets frustrated a husband gets frustrated inamaanisha mwanaume huchanganyikiwa au ukiamua kutafsiri na hili neno gets ambayo inamaanisha pata kuweza kusema mwanaume mwanaume hupata kuchanganyikiwa au mwanaume anapata kuchanganyikiwa that is why in most families a husband gets frustrated ndio maana katika familia nyingi au kwenye familia nyingi mwanaume anachanganyikiwa au mwanaume huchanganyikiwa kwa kumalizia mchango huu tuna maneno yafuatayo all i can say all i can say na maanisha ninachoweza kusema au ninachoweza kusema tu is ni ninachoweza kusema ni all i can say is ninachoweza kusema ni both ambayo inamaanisha wote wawili au vyote viwili au zote mbili nitegemea ni vitu gani viwili hapa vinazungumziwa lakini kwa sababu tunazungumzia wife na husband ambao ni mke na mume ni watu kwa hiyo both wife and husband inamaanisha wote wawili mke na mume have to be careful have to be careful inamaanisha lazima wawe makini kwa hiyo tukianzia hapa mpaka hapa tunapata all i can say is both wife and husband have to be careful Ninachoweza kusema ni wote wawili mke na mume lazima wawe makini so as to protect their marriage so as to protect their marriage inamaanisha ili walinde ndoa yao au ili kulinda ndoa yao ili walinde kwa sababu tunaozungumzia ni mke na mume lakini ukiamua kutafsiri tu moja kwa moja itakuwa ili kulinda ndoa yao so as to protect their marriage au wengine hii hapa wanasema kwa minajiri ya kwa hiyo unaweza kusema kwa minajiri ya kulinda ndoa yao au ili kulinda ndoa yao kwa pamoja tena kwa kumalizia hapa inakuwa all i can say is both wife and husband have to be careful so as to protect their marriage ninachoweza kusema ni wote wawili mke na mume lazima wawe makini au lazima kuwa makini ili kulinda ndoa yao hasa utakuwa makini kufuatilia kipengele kwa kipengele na zile tafsiri ni hizo toa ili wewe mwenyewe sasa kama unaweza kuandika labda haya maneno sehemu afu karudia kuyafuatisha na kuona kama unapata ile tafsiri niliyotoa na kuendelea kufanyia mazoezi unaweza ukafanya hivyo ili usipitwe na kichochote ambacho ni kigeni ambacho ulikuwa ukifahamu na nimekielekeza hapa kwa sababu 
kwa umeelewa kile ninachoelekeza haitoshi kukufanya kwamba hivi vitu utaendelea kuvikumbuka na utaweza kuvitumia vizuri kama hautachukua hatua ya pili ya kuendelea kuvifanyia marudio ya mara kwa mara na kuvifanyia mazoezi katika sentence tofauti tofauti na katika mazingira tofauti tofauti nitarudia tena mchango wa kila mtu na nitaisema yote kwa Kiingereza tu alafu utakuwa unafuatisha na kuona kama unakumbuka zile tafsiri za Kiswahili ni hizo toa kwa vifungu vya maneno na baadhi ya maneno na vifungu na, na michango yote kwa ujumla. Kwa hiyo nitaanza na swali kisha nitaanza kutoa mchango mmoja mmoja wa kila mtu aliyotoa kwa Kiingereza tu. Who causes more problems in marriage? Is it a husband or a wife? Number one, A father is the problem because a father is everything in the family. But it depends. Sometimes a mother is the problem because she doesn't care for the family. So sometimes a father is good but a mother is not good. Number two, A husband is the problem because a husband is everything in life. So other people know that a husband is the problem. That's why. Number three, A wife is the one who often causes problems because she can betray her husband and have an affair with another husband since we see in our families a wife is a common source of more problems in marriage for example a wife can usually make a husband never listen to his relatives and whenever she sees his relatives have come to see him she regards them as her first enemy in this world generally I can actually say that all women their father is one. That is why in most families a husband gets frustrated. All I can say is both wife and husband have to be careful so as to protect their marriage.